If you're new to incubating eggs, hopefully this fourth short clip of six about our mini advanced incubator will give you the information you need about accessing the digital control menu. So to access the menu, we need to press the minus and plus button down once together to initially unlock the menu control and then remove our fingers after we've done it. Simultaneously down. There we are, unlocked. Notice how the temperature control menu has now come up. If we want to adjust the temperature control, then we press OK once again. But if we want to move on to another menu, like the days left to hatch or the turning interval, then we simply press the plus sign to move on to these or the minus sign to move back between the menu headings. Let's show that. That takes us days, turning mode, back, back, to temperature. So let's assume we want to look at each of these menus. To access the temperature menu we need to press the OK. That tells us that this machine is set with a target temperature of 37.5 degrees centigrade which is the factory setting and it's the recommended setting for hen eggs. We have an option to put it up or down with the plus or minor, minus buttons if we want. Let's do that. Actually, we don't want to, so let's move it back down. It's set at 37.5. Let's press the OK button to accept that. By pressing the OK, the digital control automatically moves us to the next menu heading, which in this case is Days to Hatch. If we go into the Days to Hatch by pressing the OK button, we see that it's currently set to 40 days. Well, we want 21 days, so let's move that down to 21 days, because 21 days is the standard for hen eggs. OK, happy with 21, we press OK. So that's taken on to the next menu now, which is the turning mode, which means that we can decide whether we have automatic turning on this machine or whether we turn it completely off or whether we have the turning constantly turning at intervals until we tell it to do otherwise. So let's enter that. That tells us that the mode is currently set at automatic. That means that this machine will turn the eggs at intervals right up until two days before hatch. This is very valuable to most of our customers and that's where most people will put it on automatic. If we put it to off, it means the machine won't automatically turn at all. So you would have to be manually turning the eggs. If we simply put it to on, it will turn at intervals constantly. We want it in automatic to turn the turning off at two days from hatch. So let's press OK for that. That takes us to the next menu, which is turning interval. The turning interval allows us to set the machine to turn the eggs backwards and forwards from every 30 minutes up to every three hours. Let's see what we've got set for it. We've currently got it set for 45 minutes and that seems quite sensible. So let's OK that. The turning angle we've now moved on to sets the angle of eggs turning by how long the turning motor runs. The factory setting is five seconds. It tells us it's five. What we're aiming for is a quarter turn of the eggs back and forth. We could put a mark on the eggs when we set them to check that they are being turned adequately. Five seconds would be fine for most eggs. Larger eggs might need slightly more than five seconds smaller eggs slightly less than five seconds so that the eggs are turned by that by that quarter, that quarter turn. So let's accept that. 
Next on the list, we get to the high and low temperature alarms. The high temperature alarm is normally set at 2 degrees centigrade above the incubation temperature we have set on the machine, which in this case is 37.5. And the low temperature alarm is normally set at 3 degrees below the target temperature. The reason for this is that if for some reason the internal temperature rises beyond 39.5 degrees centigrade, the alarm will sound and an H will be displayed on the menu. Pressing OK will silence the alarm for 30 minutes, but it will sound again if the temperature is still too high. Leaving the incubator in direct sunlight or next to a heat source is most likely to be the reason for the high alarm, high temperature alarm sounding. Let's go into there. So you can see it's set for two degrees above the 37.5 target temperature which the machine is, is, is aiming for. So let's keep that as an OK. Moves us on to the alarm low. Let's see what that is. We go into that. That's set for three degrees below the target temperature. If the temperature falls below the lower temperature limit, which in our case is 34.5, and if it remains below that limit for more than 60 minutes, then the alarm will sound and an L symbol will remain on the display to tell you that the alarm has sounded, just in case, in the meantime, the temperature has rectified itself and you hadn't heard the alarm. So it's even if you come back a couple of hours later, you'll know by the fact that there is an L sign that there has been a problem with the, lower, with, with the, the, the machine going below the target temperature. Let's accept that. Some users like to induce, introduce some periodic cooling, particularly for waterfowl, to mimic the behaviour of a duck that may leave the eggs on a more regular basis. The Mini Advance menu allows you to choose a daily cooling of between one and five hours. What you'll find is the factory setting is set to off. Let's go in there and have a look. It's set to off. Let's keep it that way. Finally, we have the C stroke F menu that you can see where we can decide whether we want to have the temperature reading in Celsius or Fahrenheit. So it's simply asking us whether we want to display in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Let's keep it in Celsius. That then takes us to the final menu, which is the save menu. So when we OK that, it saves all the changes that we have made. And we're back to the original display. Now with the 21 target day that uh, is there rather than the 40 days that we originally had.